explosive sprinting cheetah, the mighty bounding kangaroo, the horned and leaping wildebeest, the powerful and sure-footed horse, or the quick-footed proghorn. Which is the fastest over land? On the mighty expanse of the African savannas, a battle has been raging and evolving for millions of years. The race between predator and prey can reach astonishing speeds. But there is one animal that can outpace them all, the elegant and graceful cheetah, the fastest animal on Earth. With its lithe body, long slender legs and acute senses, the cheetah prowls its home on the savanna. Cheetahs have long played an important role in human society. The ancient Egyptians often kept cheetahs as pets, tamed and trained for hunting. Cheetahs were kept as close companions to the pharaohs. It was believed that the cheetah would quickly carry away the pharaoh's spirit to the afterlife. Cheetahs are phenomenal hunters, and the flat, grassy plains of the Serengeti are perfect for their explosive hunting technique. Their incredible eyesight can pick out a target up to five kilometers away. Every second cheetah hunt results in a kill. They're almost twice as successful as the mighty lion. The animals grazing on the plains can be completely unaware the cheetah is getting close. Each of the zebra, wildebeest, and gazelle are themselves formidable runners and the cheetah can't afford to tip them off. Its stealth, 2,000 camouflaging spots, high set eyes, and low stalking body allow it to approach unnoticed. The cheetah catapults into action. Aerodynamically built for speed, its supercharged legs can accelerate faster than most sports cars. Zero to 113 kilometers an hour in about three seconds. The cheetah is the only big cat with semi-retractable claws that help grip the ground like cleats for traction when running. Pinpoint turning skills are vital to make the most of its missile-like speed. Using its front paws to smack and trip, they knock the helpless victim off balance. Similar to other feline hunters, cheetahs kill prey with a suffocating bite to the throat. As the cheetah runs, its spine curves and dips, allowing front and back legs to come together under its body and then fully extend to almost 180 degrees. For nearly half the time it's at its maximum speed, the cheetah is completely airborne. The phenomenal flexibility of its spine, together with pivoting hips and shoulders, give the cheetah a stride that can cover eight meters, and it can take three of these every second. Its long black ring tail acts as a stabilizing rudder as it zigs and zags after its prey. With its core temperature hitting 41 degrees and its breathing going from 60 to 150 breaths per minute, a cheetah can only maintain its top speed for a few hundred meters. The exhausted animal needs to rest and regain its strength. But it won't rest for long. There is always a predator on the prowl. Opportunistic hyenas are skilled hunters and well-known scavengers and will take advantage of anything that drops its guard. On the plains of Africa, every animal has to be alert and at the top of its game. A hyena presents serious competition for food and would take a cheetah kill if it could. Any challenge must be defended. With its high set eyes and using rocks and termite mounts for lookout points, a cheetah has a 210 degree field of vision. Relying on its excellent eyesight, they are much more active during the day. It's the high proportion of fast twitch muscle fiber in the cheetah's hind legs that give them such explosive power. At full speed, they are 30 kilometers an hour faster than a lion and almost twice as fast as a greyhound. Behind the powerful chest of a cheetah, a large heart pumps oxygen to power its immense speed. Enlarged nostrils allow increased airflow to its lungs. It is a quick, 
and bloody fight to the death. Regaining its breath, the cheetah keeps a watchful eye for potential scavengers. With its missile-like speed, pinpoint eyesight, and amazing flexible spine, the cheetah's prowess is unquestionable. Surveying the land around it, the cheetah, with its unrivaled sprint and sleek elegance, is the master of the plains. The fastest animal in the Western Hemisphere, the pronghorn, flies across the prairies of North America. With its elegant loping run covering six meters with each stride, the pronghorn can sustain speeds of 60 kilometers per hour and can reach a top speed of almost 100. Evolution has reduced the bone and muscle density in their limbs and shoulders, reducing their weight and adding to their speed. Interlocking spine and grooves in their joints act as hinges, allowing only motion in the direction of travel. The seasonal changes that transform the lowlands from lush to parched heavily impact the movement of the animals that live here as the moisture in the grasses and shrubs that they eat dries out. Rutting season begins in March and mature males go horn to horn to defend their territories and the harem of females inside them. The double-pronged horn that gives these graceful animals their name is the only branched horn in the entire animal kingdom. With their elegance and grace, the fleet-footed pronghorn is the second fastest animal on land. In these vast open plains, there is nowhere to hide, and to be fast is to survive. Running with their mouths open for extra air, the superbly adapted pronghorn is able to process enough oxygen to allow it to run at over 60 kilometers an hour for long distances. If needed, it can easily outrun any predators that live on the prairie today. Able to spot danger from over six kilometers away, the fast-footed pronghorn leaves coyotes and bobcats in its dust. When they are alarmed, the hair on their rumps stand up, doubling in size. This warning patch can be seen at great distances. While running, their front hooves carry most of their weight. Glands on their feet produce an oily conditioner for these double-pointed hooves. And a padding of cartilage acts as a shock absorber when running over hard terrain and rocks. Pronghorns have an inbuilt ability for speed. A fawn of just five days old can already outrun a human. The spectacular landscapes of the North American prairie are bursting with nature's energy and some of her most impressive creatures. The pronghorn may be the fastest among them, but there are others of equal beauty. Rivers flow and grasslands flourish as springs bathe the mountains and valleys full of pronghorn. Hungry bears and coyotes relish in the bounty the fertile land offers. A healthy adult pronghorn can outrun a coyote with ease, but still these agile predators will take fawns if they can, and sometimes work in packs to increase their chances against an adult. Coyotes are excellent swimmers. Despite that, this solitary canine has decided this is a chase he is not going to pursue. With eyes the size of golf balls, pronghorns have a wide field of vision. They are able to spot an object from over three kilometers away and can detect movement from twice that distance. As sure-footed herds bound over the land with their leaping gait, Eyes, limbs, hooves, and heart work in unison to keep the pronghorn running at breathtaking speeds. 
Built for extreme speed as well as endurance, is the world's second fastest land animal even more impressive than the cheetah? Wildebeest, the iconic roaming antelopes of the African plains. These bearded, shaggy-maned, and horned animals are among nature's best endurance runners. Calves learn to walk within minutes of birth and can keep up with the herd in days. Wildebeest stand a meter and a half tall at the shoulder and can be two and a half meters in length. Weighing in at 270 kilograms, they are heavier than a lion and able to run just as fast. Dawn breaks on the plains. Predator and prey embrace the challenges of a new day. In the battle between the quick and the dead, every day can be your last. With their bulk concentrated high in the front of their bodies, these beasts are capable of long distance running as well as tremendous bursts of speed, topping 80 kilometers per hour. The wildebeest calving season is synchronized with the beginning of rainy season. Every year, half a million energetic newborn calves arrive. And the right to father these calves is one worth fighting for. Foreheads flat on the ground, the males adopt the combat position. They lock horns that can reach almost a meter in length. Wildebeests are some of the noisiest animals on the plains. The loud vocalizations made during these fights give the creature their other common name, the gnu. Immensely strong and agile, leopards pounce from trees with deadly accuracy. Grazing animals on the plain look to each other for any sign of alarm. But the nocturnal leopard spends the day at rest. Come dusk, they are formidable hunters and wildebeest calves can be at risk. Living in immense herds and sharing the plains with the sharp eyes and ears of the zebra gives some safety in numbers. As the annual migration nears, over a million and a half wildebeest gather. The migration offers a feast to all the great hunters of the plains. The constant race between predator and prey pushes both to adapt to even faster and more successful techniques of escape or capture. The most abundant and successful predator in Africa, the spotted hyena has jaws strong enough to split open rhino bones. Even so, if a lion wanted to take a hyena's kill, the hyena would give way and wait until the lion had its fill. Hyenas are almost four times smaller than wildebeest and will hunt them in groups of three or more. Predator and prey share the same powerful shoulders and front legs, and both are skilled endurance runners. For the hyena to win this hunt, it will take a high-speed chase, which can go on for over five kilometers. The powerful jaws and strong digestive tract of the hyena allow it to process almost every part of any animal. The only thing the hyena can't digest are hooves, hair, and horns. The great migration to and from grazing and water every year is one of the most phenomenal sights on Earth. Zebra, gazelle, and impala join the wildebeest in a journey of great endurance, covering hundreds of kilometers. Our wildebeests, with their skill for both distance and speed running, one of the most impressive movers on the plains. The diverse landscapes of Australia are home to an alert, curious, and enigmatic animal, the world's largest and fastest marsupial, the mighty kangaroo. Bounding across vast open bushland with hops of up to nine meters, their spring-loaded hind legs power them forward. As seen here celebrated in artwork, 
the Aboriginal people have a long and deep respect for this extraordinary animal. For millennia, their lives have been inseparably intertwined. The faster they travel, the more elastic energy is created, self-propelling these masters of the outback. Kangaroo forearms are short but strong. With five clawed digits, they are used mainly for eating and grooming, but don't let their size fool you. They can also be used viciously in self-defense. At full speed, their hind legs extend fully, and as the kangaroo hops upwards, its diaphragm is pulled down, pulling air into its lungs. As the hind legs are brought forward past its chest and the stride lands, the kangaroo's internal organs flop onto the diaphragm and force air out. Combined with the elastic energy of the hind leg tendon, this supercharged hop is supremely energy efficient. The strong, thick, muscular tail of a kangaroo acts as a balance as they fly over the Australian bush. When not flat out, most kangaroos have a comfortable hopping speed of about 25 kilometers per hour. Throughout these vast expanses of outback, there is only one wild animal the kangaroo truly fears. The dingo dog, Australia's largest land carnivores. They hunt at dawn and dusk when their prey is distracted by feeding. These pack hunting canines are enough to strike fear into even the largest individual. Lithe and nimble, dingoes are highly adept hunters. Patient and intelligent with large canine teeth, dingoes may not be able to outrun a kangaroo at full speed, but working together, they are a fearsome opponent for the fleeing roo. Flat out and heart pounding, it flees for its life. These four-legged carnivores with their flexibility, stamina, teamwork and a raging hunger, chase after the kangaroo even though it is over twice the weight of each of the dogs. Over. The dingo kills with a bite to the throat, and the unlucky kangaroo becomes the next meal for the pack. With each new day, kangaroos young and old make the most of the cool before the heat of the day. Mobs made up of several females, their young and a dominant male travel together. They can bound tirelessly at 40 kilometers per hour for over two kilometers. Kangaroos are strict vegetarians, and the fresh green growth they prefer is reliant on seasonal rainfall. Living on grasses, shrubs, and herbs, the rains not only bring new forage, but also welcome relief from the extreme temperatures of the bush. Until, that is, the rain just gets to be a bit too much. When moving slowly on all fours, their strong tails act like a crutch as they swing their back legs forward like a pendulum. This way of moving uses much more energy than its efficient hump. Traveling at anything over 18 kilometers an hour, it takes less energy for a kangaroo to hop than it does for a four-legged animal to run at the same speed. Kangaroo males strive for the mating rights that come with dominance. Using his massive tail for balance, a male roo kicks out with those immensely powerful hind legs. Such muscle power, combined with claws on his hind feet, is enough to rip open his opponent's belly. Powerful shoulders drive strong forearms, and sharp claws strike out. It will be several years before this joey is ready for such battles. Practice fights start young, but as soon as one of the pair backs down, the matter will be forgotten. Young joeys soon get the hang of their spring-powered legs and seem to take great pleasure in testing them out for bounce. When food is plentiful, the super-powered kangaroos can take things easy, relaxing with their mob and enjoying feeding time. 
Moving in an easy 25 kilometers an hour, they find shady spots to hone their skills for adulthood and slowly understand the power that their limbs possess. Icons of the Outback. These energy efficient spring powered kangaroos reign supreme as the fastest marsupials in the world. Wild horses are truly a symbol of majestic power. Strong, sleek, elegant, the ultimate untamable free spirit, galloping unbridled across the land. Almost a million brumbies grace Australia's landscapes. Descendants of the working horses of the early 1800s, brumbies are a mix of thoroughbred, Arab, and draft horse. They're tough, fast icons of freedom. The Brumbies of the Alps gallops are sure-footed over its rocky, snow-covered terrain. The horse's hoof is the tip of a single toe, protected by a wall of carotene that can be likened to our fingernails. Having evolved as a prey animal, its long, sturdy, lightweight legs help the horse to run at great speeds. A galloping horse travels at about 45 kilometers per hour, but the world record for a horse in a sprint distance is almost double that. Man and horse have a relationship that goes back hundreds of years. Brumbies are still mustered in parts of Australia. Valued for their endurance, strength, sure-footedness and agility, they are rounded up to be tamed for work as stock and trail horses, as well as for show and for recreation. With a strong flight instinct, the Brumby's prey response kicks in and they will attempt to outrun the surrounding horsemen. These wild creatures have never had a bridle in their mouth or a saddle on their back. If caught, they will not tame easily. A horse has a highly developed sense of exactly where its body and limbs are at all times, and a sensitivity to anything foreign. With the ability to detect an insect landing on its back, a man and a saddle will not be tolerated. Lowering its head and raising its hindquarters, the bucking horse will do anything in its power to remove the unwanted rider. This is a dangerous pastime for both man and horse. The unleashed power of the horse rejects the rider again and again. Being social creatures that form companionships, Brumbies gather and frolic. In this situation, bucking is for joy not for defense. As soon as Europeans settled in Australia, they realized they would need horses that equaled the demands of this hard country. Cross-breeding those that had survived the tough sea voyage gave a stronger, faster horse that could thrive on the native pastures. Although able to survive on roots and bark in dry times, when the pasture is lush, brumbies live on grasses. With four very different types of movement, horses range from their powerful 45 km per hour gallop to the 20 km per hour canter, the 15 km per hour trot, down to a slow walking pace. In the searing heat of the summer months, brumbies will travel long distances to find the relief of a watering hole. Such is the sure-footedness and resilience of these creatures that they were used as war horses during the First World War. Today, the untamed Brumbies of Australia roam across its wild land. This unburdened beast is surely one of nature's powerhouses of speed and strength. The powerful galloping horse, the mighty hopping kangaroo, 
the endurance running wildebeest, the bounding pronghorn, or the sprinting cheetah? Which one is the most impressive across land?